What is better, aggressive or conservative play on the golf course? We're going to play aggressive with a white ball, conservative with a pink ball. I'm going to clear up some misunderstandings about what both of these things actually mean. First thing people think that aggressive means is that you're hitting driver all the time. Okay, beautiful. What we have to do when we play conservative is start to make some decisions about where to lay up and leave ourselves another shot. We've got a tree over there that's 140 yards away. And I know from there it's about 160 to the hole. So it's about 300 yards. I want to get it past that tree at least 150, 160 yards. So I'm going to hit my eight iron. And because the ball's above my feet, I'm going to have to hit it a little bit right. So it turns in right to left with the eight iron, hopefully setting up a wedge. Absolutely money. We've got 242 yards with 226 to carry the water. This is not really a play I would take on because it's at the top of my distance range for approach shots. Going over water, slight miss strike, you're not getting over. Dropping three, hitting four, try save a bogey. But even in aggressive play, there is conservative play because the carry on the left side is much less. The carry on the right side is more because the river moves that way away from us. So I'll hit the five wood from 242 here. But I'm going to try favor the left side, just in case I don't catch all of it, or there's not enough distance even on a good strike. For somebody who's confident, a shot that looks very aggressive to someone is very conservative for them because they have the confidence to do it. Somebody who's hitting a shorter distance to set up a shot they like looks conservative, but it's aggressive because they're doing something they want to do using their skills. Now I have 105 yards left here which is a perfect 56 degree for me. And I could very well put this close because I love this distance. We cleared the water here. We're about pin high, probably went about 235. There's a pitch mark, but that's not a shot I would take on a lot. I mean, I probably hit that as hard as I could and it just cleared the water. So that's probably a three out of 10 shot. The other seven out of 10 ending in disaster. Let's see if we can capitalize. No ego, no tip. <laughs> oh yes! The best putt on YouTube! 171. Aggressive eight. Everything depends on your strike, depends on your skill. That was not a good strike. It was an aggressive shot, but didn't work out, you know? Now we say we're gonna do a conservative shot to the left edge, and you never know what comes out. Maybe it's better, and, and it's a better shot. Now, if you have the ability to think, you'll start to realize that it depends wholly on you and your skill level. Can you hit the shots that you wanna hit? If not, you gotta go learn them, or just play the shots you have at the moment. This video may prove that I need to play certain shots at certain times. But the fundamental part of this is that I make videos for you to break 90, break 80 and break 100, where the strategies are almost entirely different because the skill levels are so different. I can't hit a full driver here because there's a chance it can go in that water or in the trees in the distance, so I have to hit a big slice. I'm gonna hit the seven wood here because the seven wood is a very confidential club and one I would use in a conservative strategy, especially on a hole like this. Nothing really to gain. 130, 130 uphill, 130 uphill, we probably got 135. Let's go pitching. Thank you to my Yakuza brothers and uh, thanks to my mom. Bless up slimes, 106. So we're gonna go with a 52 degree. Ah, pull the damn thing, man. Well, the proximity is quite a bit different, but that's a, an, an anomaly shot. That one's probably like, I don't know, eight feet from the hole. This is gonna be your standard distance from the hole after hitting a 52 degree, for me anyway. It's just that it's on the wrong side. You can't always get what you want, but sometimes you just might find, I don't like the driver on this hole, 
just because of how it lines up. We've got this big ass tree on the left and you've got, all I'm looking at is bushes. There's a lot of space on the left, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and see if I can put it off, but mm, I'm not feeling comfortable. Okay, somehow I got that to work. Now we'll go seven wood, because this, this is a more confidential club for me. And it's one of the go-to clubs. As soon as my driver's not working, seven wood is the next step in the bag for something off the tee. And it has a better propensity to, to draw. It's more automatic than a driver. So my thoughts on a hole like this is playing 460 yards of par four. It's gonna be lower than stroke four. So the only people who don't get to stroke on this hole are three handicaps, two handicaps, one handicap, or scratch and below. While a conservative play may set you up for a bogey, the bogey is a good score. Like if I'm going for scratch golf or under par golf, of course I have to hit as aggressive as I can so I can make a guaranteed par. That's obvious. We'll go 209 with a six iron, and this is a conservative play, but this is an aggressive shot because I'm very confident with a six iron. To go from 209, that's quite a distance. Money, right on the left edge. Boom, we've hit a decent one. I didn't hit it that hard just to keep it under control because I, I can't go for max distance here because of these bushes. That's a drop two, hit three on the tee. Okay, we're on the green on the front. Both balls on the, all around the green. The proximity to the hole, the seven iron is a little bit closer, but I was playing more directly at the flag and the six iron I was hoping for hitting the left edge or just left because it was a longer shot from 206. So the conservative strategy means you do aim more for misses. Depends on your confidentiality in a shot. Man, I'm just not, they're just not fast enough. The putts are good, they're just not getting to the hole, which means fewer birdies. Okay, so this ball with the six iron has just landed on the green, leaving us a green in regulation. We're a bit further from the hole than the aggressive ball with the seven iron. Downhill putt. Of course, I hit a dead of the pin. Now this hole is bisected in two by a little river there and I have to get as close to that river as I possibly can to be able to go for the green over all those bull rushes ahead of that, which is not a very high percentage shot. We've got a tree on the left here blocking out any kind of fade and the maximum distance of my driver can reach that water. So I have to have that added stress of keeping the ball short of that without hitting a fade, trying to keep it straight or with a draw, not too far left otherwise I'm blocked out by the big tree. So in it's really narrowing down the number of shots I can hit and the percentage number of times I can actually hit those shots. So I have to try really hard here just to keep this in play. So I have to concentrate a lot. So let's see. Uh, you see, I've, there's, there's too much stuff in my brain. Whereas with a four iron, it's a very simple shot. Get it in play. We turn this par five into a three shotter. All the stress is gone. I, I can hit my stock shot here. I don't have to invent a shot just to keep the ball in play. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to hit the six iron. We're quite a long way out, but we're in the trees. So we're going to take the max distance we can, which is probably a six iron off the slide without losing the ball. And just aim it up the left and try fade it over the river. We've got 277 with a conservative ball, beautifully in play, very low stress shot. With another low stress shot in front of us, 277. What do I want into the green? I want to have like 100, and, like 100 would be great, so we can go 177. We're going to go with the 8 iron, get it up there, try leave us off a sand wedge or a gap wedge into the green. That'll be absolutely beautiful. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm going to hit a 9-iron from 147 because that's the place we put ourselves in. Unfortunately, the driver put us out of position to really go for it in two. I mean, it's not really possible. But to set up our preferred shot into the green, not 147. So 
with the aggressive strategy it seems you just have to take what comes that's a good little shot right there. We've got 135. We're going to hit the pitching wedge. We have set ourselves up the shot. We've opened the hole up a lot more here than from the other angle. Let's see if we can perform a beautiful shot. After seeing the line of the first one. <laughs> We've got 160 yards and that's perfect number for a 9 iron. So I'm very happy with that. A 9 iron, conservative play or not, it's just a money club for me. We got 93 yards, about 10 yards short of what I like to hit my 56 degree. So it's a bit of a partial shot, so I'm not going to get too fancy about it. I think I'll just go with 5 yards past the pin here and hit a normal sandwich. And if I don't catch all of it, then I'll have a really good shot. Another thing that might not come up in a discussion of conservative versus aggressive golf is the placement of the ball on the green. These two putts are not ideal putts. Short left just dead right and maybe a little short of the pin are great putts to have for birdies you can really give them a wrap luckily the greens are a bit slow today but on a fast green a side slope like this you're not going to make that many of them no matter how close you are to the hole it's just a difficult putt straighter flatter putts or uphill putts on greens are going to be good regardless of your strategy <laughs> what a joker. Two birdies. Hey, Betty. Two tips. <laughs> I'm not feeling great, guys. I haven't had my coffee for today. I'm trying to cut it down from three or four cups to one cup a day. I'm feeling about as good as Rick Shields felt playing with Sergio Garcia. But we'll soldier through this final hole to see if we can finish this up. Aggressive versus conservative. Now I'm going to hit this aggressive shot straight down the left side of this hole, hoping for a little fader and back into the middle of the fairway. That seems about right. Good, mate. Eh? Now we're going to do a four iron. That shot there took all my pre-caffeinated power out of me. So we've got to try this four iron. We know it's been fading for the day, strangely, because I think the grip is too thick. So I'm going to send this up toward the same tree, hope for a fader. Oh, that's a really nice four iron. 186 with a six iron, it's a confidential club. No, fuck man. 150 yards, we're going with a niner. We're losing power, we're, lo we're fading fast. We need some caffeine. We need some caffeine to solve the problems. Okay, come on slimes, let's bless it up. I'll be honest with you, I have no dog in the race here. I have no horse in the fight. As long as you just gain the ball on the green, making two putts, getting out of there with the lowest score possible, having fun. That's what it's all about. I know how I can play. It's more about how you can play. That's why I show you so many variations that you can pick and nip and tuck what you like to take and put into your game to create the best game you've ever played. Conservative versus aggressive, it's a social construct. Oh, come on, man. What the hell? Nearly a bloody birdie. Well, there you have it. I don't give a shit which one you play. Just pick the best shots in your game. And this video over here is going to help you to do that without thinking about being a pussy or being conservative or being aggressive. Just play the best goal possible.